It's your boy EB. You're watching EB Family ENT. And if you like what you see, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. So you could become part of EB Fuck Fuck Family. <laughs> bad me or not bad meets evil. What the hell am I talking about? Guilty conscience. Which you're from Cali, dude, and you love original hip hop. So I don't know yeah. how you did not you've never heard this song. Because I don't listen to Eminem. I understand, but this has Dre on it too, and it's a classic. I feel like everybody in the world has heard this song. Maybe I'll let you know. I'll let you know within the first ten seconds, and then if I have, we can go there. I'll be so surprised if you haven't. But you're gonna watch the video with it too. Oh well, I definitely have never seen the video. Oh well, you're gonna love the video. But I can't. But I swear you've heard this song. But I don't know if I've ever seen this video. What? I've, I've heard the song a million times. So I don't know that I've ever seen the video. You've never yeah. watched the video to Guilty Conscience and you call so. yourself a stan? I don't know if I've ever seen it. I didn't even know that I know there was a video. Oh my gosh, yo. I don't know. Yeah, that's a fact, Russ. All right. Well, I'm Direct on here with guy. two people that have no idea about Eminem's like one of his biggest songs ever in the, the world. Huh? I know the song, but I just didn't know that there was a video. On this song there. only got sixty three million dollars uh, views. <laughs> This isn't yeah, yeah, sixty-three mil it only got sixty-three <laughs> million views. Fact. <laughs> All right. So this is you'll kind of understand the difference between Shady and M a little bit on this one, and then you'll have a better understanding on guilty conscience too. But we have yeah. to start with this one first. So let's get into it. Are you ready, Sec? I am ready. Are you ready, babe? Yes, I am. That's still wild to me. You've never seen the video. I don't know if I have or not. All right. Well, we got to tune in. What's up, Lori? All right, y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. Meet Eddie, 23 years old. Fed up with life and the way things are going, he decides to rob a liquor store. But on his way in, he has a sudden change of heart, and suddenly, his conscience comes into play. So you said you've never seen it? No, I've only heard the other version. Oh, I've only wow. Heard the, the album version. I can't believe. Okay, so this is going to be dope. So I'm just going to sit back and let you two react to this. Don't, I'm not even here. Let's go. Now before you walk in the door of this liquor store and try to get money out the drawer, you better think of the consequence. Who are you? I'm your, your mother motherfucking conscience. conscience. Yeah. I've heard it. I've got, I knew it. I there's yeah, no way you've it. not you have not heard this song. No way in the world. I've heard it. But I haven't seen the video. But I've I, heard this. I wonder if there is anyone that has not heard this song. Not that, that that's our age. That's anywhere near. And I mean, my age and your age are a big difference, but yeah, my you age to and say, your bro? age are a big difference too. But not you, that big difference. You know, I'm just saying around our era, do you think there's anybody who hasn't heard this song? Because I, I find that hard. And I mean, I know you can't, like, everyone comes from different places. I understand that. But like, this song right here, come on now. I don't think I know one person that has not heard this song. Yeah. There's no thank, way. Thank you for the clarification, Russ. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes, I'm saying he is senior, you know. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, you could look at his beard and you could tell that right from the beard, dude. Look at it. What are you talking about? Your beard, man. <laughs> He's covering it up. It reminds what me of fucking. Talking about? It looks like Gandalf, yo. You look like Gandalf. <laughs> you remind me of Gandalf about? or Dumbledore. What? You remind me of Dumbledore or Gandalf from Lord of the what? Rings. What is that? The fucking old wizard from from Mary Potter. That's Is that Dumbledore. why the motherfuckers call me the Wiz? Yeah, bro, because <laughs> you look like Dumbledore. Man, that's crazy. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Shout out to Michi, man. All right, let's get back to the chat. <laughs> All right, stop. Now, before you walk in the door to the liquor store and try to get money out the drawer, you better think of the consequence. Who are you? I'm, I'm your, your motherfucking conscience. conscience. That's nonsense. Go in, get and run to one of your aunt's cribs and borrow a damn dress to one of a brown wig. And I'm telling you, need a place to stay. You'll be safe for days if you shave your legs with Renee's razor blades. Yeah, but if it all goes through like it's supposed to, the whole neighborhood knows you and they'll expose you. Think about it before. 
before you walk in the door first. Look at the store clerk. She's older than George Burns. Bump that. See, I'm not the only one talking about old, old, they're old. Uh, Dre's over here saying she's older than George Burns. Same as sex. So now you guys understand. Before you walk in the door first. <laughs> Look at the store clerk. She's older than George Burns. Bump that. Do that. Hit that, that lick. Rig. Can you afford to blow this hit? Are, Are you, you that rich? rich? Why you care if you scared to death? Are you that chick? Do you really think she gets a... You have yeah, man. man, don't do it. It's not worth it to risk it. Right. Not over this lick. Stop. Drop the biscuit. Don't even listen to Slim, yo. It's bad for you. You know what, Dre? I don't, I don't like your like attitude. These voices, these voices, I hear them. And when they talk Meet about Stan, about age 21. After meeting a young girl at a frat party, things start to get hot and heavy in an upstairs rec room. Once again, his conscience comes into play. All right. This version sucks. Oh, sample. What's up, bro? What do you mean? This salute, homie. This is edited version and it's direct. This version yeah, ed- sucks. Yeah, edited version sucks. Yeah, I mean, edited version suck no the, matter the words what. words are totally different. Okay, well, the only way you guys can see the video is this way. I don't know what else to it tell is. you guys. We all know the song. And that this isn't even like the whole reason we're showing Sack this video is so he can get a little understanding so then we can show him Guilty Conscience 2. Right. I don't care to show him Guilty Conscience 1. This is for yeah. Sack personally. So I don't really care about this one in particular. But no, you you are right. It fucking sucks because it's edited. They changed the words up. Uh. And whatever this they edit this this part, whatever that is. Well, I don't know what this part is in particular, but I, I wanted to know what the hell is the like the narrator guy? Yeah, the voice is different and like Yeah, but is he supposed like I feel like is he portraying somebody? Does yeah, he, yeah, you ain't never seen motherfucking Twilight Zone. Yeah. No. This is kind of like a take on that because the Twilight Zone dude would come back in from like a commercial and shit and he'd set up the scene. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And then they would, then they go into the scene and he starts rapping. Oh, you know, okay. And they start showing what these two do, two are doing. That makes sense because I, I never understood that. I've seen this video multiple times, but I always thought, I thought that was like a dude off of like fucking The Price is Right or Jeopardy. Like, I thought that our Wheel of Fortune, I thought that's what that was trying to uh, portray the whole time. Wheel of Fortune, that's the crazy yeah. shit. Like, I thought that's who that was supposed to be. I had yeah, no, no idea that... that it was fucking actually from Why a that movie. Even make sense? I'm just saying, that's what it looks like. It's just a narrator. I didn't, I, I just thought maybe it was someone specific. Cause you know how M, like, M does that in all his old videos where he'll fucking was, be making fun old, of someone. So... It was old, Dre's old, you know what I'm saying? So they're going to, they their crowd is my age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is the shit that we used to watch when we was fucking kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I I know, I, I all I'm saying is M does yeah. it. He did this a lot in he his said, old video. Jesus, that's three different people. That's <laughs> facts, Russ. He said Bob Barker, <laughs> Pat <laughs> Chase, <laughs> Say Jack, and Alex Trebek. I knew all them people too. <laughs> I didn't know any of them. You don't even know who those people are. Probably still do. You? Nope. I know who Bob. I, I've heard the name Bob Barker before, but I didn't know he's probably the one from The Price Is Right, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at her. Yeah, she was so that. quick with yeah, it. No. I say Jack was from Will of Fortune. Yeah, yeah. And, and Alex Trebek was from, from Jeopardy. Uh, Jeopardy. Thank I don't you. know. Fuck all of them. Yeah. What I liked was Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So let's get back to this and see what this guy's millionaire <laughs> idea is. His conscience comes into play. While you're kissing a cheek and smearing a lipstick, slip this in a dream. Now all you gotta do is nibble on this little chicken's earlobe. Yo, this girl's only 15, 15 years, years old. old. How could you take advantage of her? She's passed out. It's easy. Just cut these lights out. That's how. Then pick this chicken up, get her off Brad's couch, and leave her on the front porch at her mom and dad's house. Man, ain't you ever seen that one movie, kids? No, but I seen the porno with son Nubius. 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 You wanna get hard off the jail? Who is son Nubius? I never knew who that is either. Have you ever seen the did movie you, Kids? Who? Did you ever see that movie? Yeah, you guys are both asking. What movie? Kids. Kids. Kid, there's a movie called Kids? Yeah. He no, just said it. Haven't yeah. you ever seen that movie Kids? Yeah. That movie's uh, fucked I didn't up. actually know he was saying that movie Kids, like uh, making a reference. Who the yeah. fuck would name a movie Kids? Kids is effed up. Uh, yeah, facts. It is, facts. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've never even heard of Kids. Fuck up movie. You go watch that shit. It will okay, fuck, well, mm-hmm. fuck you up. It will fuck you up. 
I watched that movie when I was like 15, actually. That movie's fucked. This is why I'm so happy you guys are here. Because I'm actually understanding the fucking song. Like, I thought the damn song was just about uh, effing a 15 year an underage person when you're older than age. I didn't know. I didn't catch none of these references. That's I've only half like of 15 it. million yeah. times. The other half of it is him drugging her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's and not getting told in this. Yeah. That's not, not like, getting told in this edited version, though. No, well, he did. He said, yeah, well, he yeah said, kind of, slipped not something really. in her drink. Yeah, but. Like I mean, the, this version isn't too off. The only off thing about it is it's edited. They just changed yeah. the bad words. That's like they changed uh, fucked up bitch. Like, that's it. The one they really screwed up is Superman. If you've ever heard the, the edited, edited version yeah. of Superman. Oh, they fucked that one all up. Like they, they made whole different sentences and everything. This one, they didn't do that. This one, it's just the, the words that are different. It's just like the the edit the bad words basically. Yeah, but then they edit this other like music in the background. The, 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 that music's always been there, babe. No, the, like the song, babe, that the, music the, has the always words, been the there. The don 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 don. That music has always been there. I promise you, it's always been there, babe. But the words have not been there. I feel you on that, Russ. The the narrator's words were have not been the there in every. Yes, they I'm are. Not the narrator. I'm talking about the. Like singing part. The follow. Yeah. The follow. Yeah, that. The, 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 the boom, boom. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. But there's somebody back there with background vocals doing something. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys follow. zone in way too damn much. I don't know what to tell you on that one. Uh, you guys hear you guys hear too much music, you know. Zone <laughs> zone into the topic at hand, all right? I'm listening to the song. <laughs> you guys are fucking trying to catch every different thing here, like it's tool or something. This you thing's well, I mean, I'm watching the okay, reaction. One of my favorite rappers, bro, Lin Chung, you know, uh, like, he has like layers and layers and layers of music. There'll be like 15 fucking instruments going, you know what I'm saying? And it's like you're trying to listen to each one of them individually at some point. And you're like, oh, man, I really like that fucking horn. It's so sick where the piano is banging. Yeah, know? but there's also... It's throwing me off because I know the song so well. Okay. <laughs> I, I understand that. I understand that. I guess I guess my point, the point I'm trying to make about this is the, the whole point of this, like I said in the beginning, the whole point of showing Sack this and showing you, because you've never seen the video, but the whole point of showing you Sack this and so we can show you part two. So oh, if, I haven't listened to this in a very long time. So right. it's a good little refresher. Yeah, and that's perfect. I'm just yeah. saying, if if there wasn't a task after this one, then of course I'd be listen. I'd be listening for every single fucking different switch, like I do, because you guys know I love listening to the beats themselves. But yeah, I yeah. know that there's a task at hand, so I'm focusing my energy or my yeah. brain power on listening to the three events the stories taking place and kind of yeah. cutting out all the too. extra because i because i know that that's the main focus for when we get to the part two if that makes sense to you guys well, I, I, absolutely I'm, I'm following the story absolutely yeah. well that's why Picking i said that all the, the ad-libs and the music it, it's pretty good yeah cool. yeah Okay. It's well done, especially for how old he is, you know what I'm saying? And do I know any tools music? I probably I'll say this. I know the 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 hits, you know what I'm saying? Um uh, I know some of the perfect perfect circle stuff too. Um Oh well we're gonna get him much. immersed in the tool. We're gonna we're gonna get him immersed and Kathy, but Kathy's pretty immersed already in the tool, so we don't have to do that. But all right, let's get back into it. I was only 15 years old. How could you take advantage of her? She passed out. It's easy. Just cut these lights yeah, that's out. That's, that's how. Then pick this chicken up, get her off Brad's couch, and leave her on the front porch at her mom and dad's house. Man, ain't you ever seen that one movie, kids? No, but I seen the porno with Son Nubius. Nubius. You wanna get hard? Yeah, who is Son Nubius? That, that question was never answered. I don't know. Zach, do you know who Son Nubius is? I wanna say Wait. he's a rapper. Kind of sounds familiar. Hold on. I don't know who Son Nubius is. I don't know. But he said something with this porno with Son Nubius. Maybe it was a kid from or from kids. I love how you guys knew every other fucking answer here, but don't know the Son Nubius, the words that are being said. Oh, you the, guys the, don't know the that. Son Nubians. Okay. The Son Nubians. Is that supposed it's... to be like the brand Nubians? Like Lord no. Jamar group? Okay. Hold on. Who, Russ, do you know the Sun Nubians Cadillac? Do you know the Sun Nubians? Sun, 
Paul? Anyone? What is Sun Nubians? Because got I'm trying like I'm learning so you guys, these two right here are teaching me so much about this song that I've never like realized before, or at least about Sun the Nubians. video. Sun Ra and his myth science orchestra released an album called The Nubians of Plutonia. Okay. On April 2nd, 2014. What? Oh, it's Sun Dubious. Who is Sun Dubious? I don't know. I, I was just thinking it was a porn star. It really doesn't it matter is. to me that much. I thought you guys like knew because you guys knew every that other right. Sun thing Dubious. about the song. So it's not really that deep of a of a thing. But I, I just I thought you guys already knew because you guys knew like everything else. That was the only Okay, so I, I just looked up Sun Dubious and it brought me to Guilty Conscience sung by Eminem. <laughs> okay, so yeah, with that when we're just skipping over. No, but I seen the porno with Sun Dubious. Dubious. You wanna get hard off the jail? Hold that. Drop a raw, ring the doorbell, then bell. Voices. Hear them. And that is in the original song. Yes, it is, because that's M doing I'll that. Follow. That's I'll M, follow. babe. If you listen, that, that 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 play the CD. That's Eminem doing that. That's M. I get that, but that's not in the real song. Yes, it is in the real song. These voices. That is in the real song. All right, we will. You know what? We're, we'll have a bet. What do you want to bet? I bet you a hundred dollars. You bet me a hundred dollars. No way, money's not a good. No deal. money. Yeah, money's not a good bet because you still you, you still got to clean my car. What do you want to bet? I'll bet you anything because I know that's not in the song. All right. I bet if I if I'm right about this, no matter what, for the next fucking week. And I'm I, you know what? On the next live that we do for the entire live, no matter what, if I'm wrong or if I'm right. You can't fucking argue me uh, that I'm I'm wrong. I'm basically going to be right. No matter what, from the start of the live till the end of the live, oh. there, though, there's no pushback at all. That's my fucking bet. If I'm right, you want to do that bet? You think you can actually stick to your word on that? Because I don't think you can stick to your word on that if you're wrong. You so basically you be wrong. Basically, you just have to be. Even if you're not wrong, you still gotta be wrong. And what if you, what if you lose? I don't know. You're supposed to come up with something. If I lose, I don't come up with that. That's you. Mm. That's what I came up with. That's if a good lose, bet. Then you get to not argue me being wrong, right? See, <laughs> see, nah, that's a, I can't fucking do that, dude. But bet, let's bet it up, bet it up, baby, bet it up because I'm, I'm right. That is in the song, so let's go. And I'm not just talking about your stupid CD. I'm talking about we're going to look up the actual song. The song that's under Eminem's channel. And we're going to listen. Because I don't know. That could be a bootleg ass CD. Ring the doorbell and bell. Voices, these voices. I hear them. And when they talk, I'll follow. Meet Grady. I'll follow. <laughs> a 29-year-old construction worker. After coming home from a hard day's work, he walks in the door of his trailer park home find his wife in bed with another man now this part right here i uh, the other two parts i gotta rock with dre right like i'm not about fucking yeah. pilling up underage women and having sex with underage women and taking advantage of them. i'm not okay with the first one either robbing the liquor store and just killing the old lady and all that but this yeah. one right here i walk inside and i see her banging her boss or some shit in my bed? Oh, yeah. No, I'm with M. Do that. Fuck that. Do that shit. That F it. Take me to jail. I'm with him. Calm down. Relax. What about you, Sack? How are you on this situation? Do you right? Well, let's fit. Let's wait till the end. But we already know what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, no, man. I ain't that dude, man. I ain't that dude either. But I'm that dude. If I fucking walk in on my bed no. in my house. Oh, yeah. No, I'm with M on that. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm, I'm going to need that hatchet, the fucking now, juggalo there hatchet. Are my axe, right? my axe. There are variables because my best friend fucked my fiance, right? And uh, I didn't walk in on him fucking. That may have been different. I don't know. But the way I handle it, you know, I was like, 
if I, if I, dude didn't want to come talk to me, he's like, you're going to whoop my ass. I was like, I'm not going to whoop you. Well, no, I agree with you on that. I'm not, I'm not even talking about that part with the dude, because I've been that same way. I never understand how people, I've right, never been I, the type that it, if a going. girl cheats that I get mad at the dude. I'll never get no. mad at the dude. It's not the fucking dude's fault. It's fucking it's her fault. Let me finish my fucking sentence, bro. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Because this dude's my best friend. He knows that's my fucking fiance. True. It isn't like he didn't fucking know. True. You know what I'm saying? He fucking knew and he deserved an ass whipping. Right. But if I whip his ass, I got to whoop her ass too. And I don't beat women. You know right. what I'm saying? Because she fucking knew. Right. That's, I'm just saying I'm the type and of person. I told him that shit. I was like, yo, you don't have to worry about me whooping your ass, dog. Yeah. Because if I whoop your ass, I got to whoop her ass, too, because you both fucking knew. But just know this. You lost a really good friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I like, tell you what. And I told him this. I said, if you ever leave her, bro, I will find you. I don't give a fuck if I'm 50 or from 80. I'm going to fuck you up, dog. Oh, well, yeah. No, I, I never <laughs> went that. But like, They're for still me- together. And she's cheated on him. You know what I'm saying? She's a cheater, bitch. I mean, I've had these situations happen, though, before. Like, the, one of my exes, we lived together. This girl had a miscarriage with my fucking baby. Yo, and we lived together at the time. And this girl thought that she, I was not going to find out that she was going to my brother's. My brother, that's not here anymore, but my brother's house yeah. to a bonfire to cheat on me with one of my friends that I grew up with. And she thought I wasn't going to find out. But what I'm saying is, I agree with you to the most part. All I right. was saying about the song, like, I'm not now, the type that I don't get mad at. I don't get, I've never been like that. Like, I don't get mad at the other dudes because it's not their fault. I'm getting mad at the well, fucking person that's cheating. So I'm mad at her. And I didn't handle it with an but, axe or anything. I'm just saying, right. like, I agree with him. If I were to walk in and see, and it's on my bed in front of my fucking face, oh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to react. I'm going to lose my mind. I agree now, with Now, this him. is what I will say. Let's say... That dude didn't know, right? You know what I'm saying? He, the dude was not my best friend, and he didn't know that that's my girl, right? And I don't know. I might work him over just because. You know what I'm saying? Because I can. I need to let some aggression out. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah. know how I would handle that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I didn't handle it that way. I'm just saying, like, it's a different scenario. If I, I, I feel like if I was in this situation and I walked in and, and there was a dude in my bed and Kathy was right there butt ass naked, oh, yeah, it'd be a fucking get the hatchet. Get the damn hatchet. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Get the hatchet. Get her out of here. Yeah. Get, get them both out of here. Even though I'm not even mad at the dude, I'm going to probably be like, oh, all right. But you still got to get out of here just because you're in the scenario. You know, you're you're in the situation at the time <laughs> and I'm going to be livid. <laughs> that's basically all that's I a, would say that that. No, that's a fact, Russ. You're absolutely right. I don't talk to him. My sister talks to her, but I don't talk to her. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No. Meet Grady, a 29 year old construction worker. After coming home from a hard day's work, he walks in the door of his trailer park home to find his wife in bed with another man. Calm down, relax, start breathing. Start breathing, man. You just caught your wife cheating. cheating. While you at work, she's with some dude trying to get off. Not. Forget getting divorced. Cut this Her chicken's head, head off. off. What if there's a good explanation for this? Why? She tripped and fell, fell on, on his dick? dick? All right, Katie, maybe he's right, Grady. Think about the baby before you get all crazy. Okay, thought about it. Still wanna grab her, kick her out the house, get your daughter and kidnap her. That's what I did. Be smart, don't be a retard. You gonna take advice from somebody who slapped deep on? What you say? What's wrong? Didn't think I remember. I'ma kill you, you little motherfucker. Ah, uh-huh, Mr. Drake, Mr. Indomitable, Mr. Ray, Mr. Ray, Ray coming straight out of Compton, you're my big way. way. How in the hell you gonna tell this man not to be violent? Cause he don't need to go the same route that I went. Been there. Yeah. See, I agree with them at the end of the day. At that, with that situation, I'm with them. Fuck them. Get them out. Yeah. Like, like George said, I don't provoke, provoke violence. I don't provoke violence either. I, I, I like to make. If I can make you feel like shit and, you know, have to recess your fucking life, I'm more into that. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. I'm more into motherfucker. You need to you need to rethink what the fuck you're doing, dude. You done lost fucking like we this Thanks. dude and I we work together. You know what I'm saying? We worked at the same fucking job. We were both mechanics, and there'd be days where he'd call in sick and I'd be at work. You know what he's doing? He was fucking my old lady. You know what I'm saying? That that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, crazy. I get it. I trust me, it's I get it. Up. Yeah, I get I get all of it. But I get wanting to kill the people and I get the not doing it and I get all of that situation. Okay. Let, let me say it like this, since mm -hmm. it's clearly going a a weird route. I don't know why. All I'm simply saying is <laughs> well, I would I'm giving my point of view. And I've been in yeah. this situation before, and when I was in the yeah. situation, I did not kill nobody. All right. All I'm simply saying is there's a different factor that takes place in this one because yep. I didn't walk in and right. see the shit happening on my bed in my right. house. Right. Like that yeah. in that situation. And I that's don't why know I what said I, I do. don't know. Right. Yeah, I don't know exactly. what I would do either. I don't know what it I would do. be. It would be impossible to be able to predict mm -hmm. that. But predict my it. thought process is telling me. Fuck that. Do that shit. That's that's well, my thought process on it. That's the first that's the first place you go every time. I mean Exactly. In your head, and then you gotta be like, yo, Dre has to pop out and go, yo, stop, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why this song yeah. is so dope. To sum yeah, it all yeah. up, that's what makes this song dope, is because right. that's what this song that's what the whole point of the song is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. It's supposed it's a cautionary to, yeah, tale. Yeah, it's talking about your conscience. And who are you going to listen to? It's the guilty mm -hmm. conscience. It's the evil part of your brain that you don't want to listen to. You know, that would be yeah, a perfect... It's the angel and demon thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, You know what's crazy about that, babe? What? That would be a perfect song for a track. I mean, a perfect title for a song like yeah. this one. Yeah. If they named it Guilty Conscience, like, yeah, it would go hand in hand, saying. wouldn't it? That's why no I'm fucking it. way, yo. That's why I'm saying it. <laughs> I know, babe. I know. All right, it's a you part guys. Of your brain that you don't want to connect with, or like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the dead, like the the evil part. Yeah, the the shady part of your brain. No.